Hey everyone, and welcome to my tutorial. It, um, this is for how to get NI FM8 for free on FL Studio or Ableton or any program that accepts VST. Now, this is my third attempt, and I'm getting very, you know, frustrated because I just recorded it last time and no sound came through because I hadn't selected my mic as a recording device. So. Forgive me if I'm a bit, you know, hasty to get through this, but I really do want to get it done tonight, and I'm going to do the massive tutorial next. Okay, you need to download the folder called Homework 2 from Mediafire that I uploaded. I called it that just to give it, like, a bit of discretion of what it is. Just to extract it. Oh, sorry, guys. Extract it. Okay, now um, you should get data and you should get setup. I haven't uninstalled this, so it's gonna probably kill me if I probably run it. So just run it as an administrator. Next, I accept, which is total horse crap because you do not accept because you're cracking it basic installation now leave that one you want it ins to install to there now this is the problem if you're installing it on a 32 bit you need to on this one go program files vst so program files and then normal vst well program files and then vst plugins that's the real name of it that's what you need to do. Otherwise, if you're a 64-bit, you need to, on the 32-bit part, install it to Program Files Native Instruments. So, if you're a 32-bit, you install it to Program Files VST Plugins, only on this one. And if you're a 64, you install it to Program Files Native Instruments. Now, if you're in on the 64-bit part, if you're a 32-bit, um, put this on to exactly what the top one is. So, program files native in instruments. That's if you're 32. Now, if you're 64 on the, for this one, you want to install it on pro C, program files times 86 VST plugins. Okay? Go next and install it. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to do this, but I'm gonna. Only because I've already installed it and I reckon it's gonna give me hell if I do I think I might have to go and uninstall one of them after I do this tutorial and then I'll start the massive one Now I just want to give a bit of a sort of half a mid ad if you want to call it that. This is for my other channel Subsonic Flux. Now if you're an FL Studio user and you want to know how to use it better, you can go on my channel on this one and I've got a few tutorials and I'm going to do probably three more tonight. So I've got a beginner to pro tutorial number one and now that's probably oh, 17 minutes long. How to make a dubstep bass in Citrus, a very... Oh, it's it's not basic, but it's not advanced. It's probably basic for me, but advanced for some people. Now, how to make a lead up in FL Studio, it's very easy. Like, it takes me about three seconds with three times oscillators. Now, I've got two FL Studio packs, one 180 megabytes and one 150 megabytes, totally free downloaded from my page on um, media file now just go finish now if you're an FL Studio user just open it up right click on the step sequencer insert um, more refresh fast scan now because I've already installed this what you need to do is 
FM8 will be highlighted in red and it'll say one new plugin found down here and it'll be like that it won't have that you just need to select it so it's activated fast scan again and then just exit that insert FM8 there you go full FM8 no demo like it's not a demo you just full it'll last forever no like it won't lower the volume halfway through or some crap it's really stable and well yeah thanks for watching please subscribe because I've got eight more VSTs that I'm gonna do tutorials for I'll just show you them I've got Junglers, Sugarbytes Wow, Native in Instruments FM8 Native Instruments Massive um, Camel Fat Rob uh, Predator Vanguard and Silent One and I'm also going to do um, Bit Crusher and I forget this one, I always forget the damn name um, what is it called? Bloody hell. okay just don't worry about that one, I'll just you'll see the tutorial Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.